Sophia, an 18-year-old girl with flowing chestnut brown hair that reached the middle of her back, lived a life filled with routine and predictability. She was preparing for her final year of high school with dreams of attending a prestigious university. Her days were mostly spent studying, hanging out with friends, and indulging in her favorite hobbies like painting and reading. Her best friend, Lisa, had always been a constant in her life, sharing secrets, dreams, and countless hours of laughter. Lisa's father owned a small, cozy barbershop in town, which was a popular spot for the locals. One sunny Saturday, Sophia received a call from Lisa, who sounded unusually excited. Hey, Sophia, I need to run some errands, but I thought we could catch up at my dad's barbershop. I have a surprise for you. Curious and eager to see her friend, Sophia agreed. She dressed casually, tying her hair in a loose ponytail, and headed out. Little did she know that this visit would change her look and her day in ways she couldn't have imagined. When Sophia arrived at the barbershop, Lisa greeted her with a warm hug. Hey, Sophia, I'm so glad you came. I have to run upstairs for a bit, but make yourself comfortable. I'll be back soon. Sophia nodded, smiling, but she couldn't shake the feeling of unease. She had never been inside a barbershop before, and the unfamiliar environment made her nervous. The hum of clippers, the sharp scent of hair products, and the sight of hair scattered on the floor all contributed to her anxiety. Sophia took a seat in the waiting area, trying to calm her racing thoughts. She glanced around, watching as customers came and went, each leaving with a fresh haircut. She noticed how confidently they sat in the chair, trusting the hairdresser with their appearance. She couldn't help but feel a little out of place. Minutes turned into what felt like hours, and soon, Sophia found herself alone in the waiting area. The hairdresser, a middle-aged woman with kind eyes, finished with her current client and turned her attention to Sophia. All right, it's your turn, she said, motioning for Sophia to come forward. Sophia felt a lump form in her throat. She stood up hesitantly and approached the chair. Oh no, I'm not here for a haircut. I'm just waiting for my friend, Sophia explained, her voice wavering slightly. The hairdresser frowned slightly. I'm sorry, but if you're not here for a service, I'll have to ask you to leave. Sophia bit her lip, unsure of what to do. She didn't want to cause any trouble, and she thought a little trim wouldn't hurt. All right, I guess a quick trim is fine, she said, trying to sound confident. She took a deep breath and sat down in the chair. The hairdresser draped a black cape around her shoulders and asked, What would you like today? Sophia smiled nervously. Just a trim, please. I want to keep as much length as possible, just even out the ends. The hairdresser nodded, but amidst the noise and her own distraction, Sophia's request seemed to be misheard. Got it. Just a little trim to even things out. With that, the hairdresser picked up her clippers and began sectioning Sophia's hair. The hum of the clippers filled the air, making Sophia slightly anxious. Just take off the dead ends, Sophia repeated, trying to reassure herself. The hairdresser smiled. Don't worry, I'll take care of the dead ends for sure. Sophia felt the cold metal of the clippers at the nape of her neck and tensed. The hairdresser started shaving up the back of her head, and Sophia felt the hair fall away. She tried to stay calm, reminding herself it was just a trim. However, as the hairdresser continued, Sophia realized that the hair was being cut much shorter than she had intended. Wait, what are you doing? Sophia exclaimed, panic rising in her voice. The hairdresser paused, a look of confusion on her face. You asked for a shortcut, right? Sophia's eyes widened. No, I said just a trim. Keep the length. Oh dear, the hairdresser murmured, clearly taken aback. I'm so sorry. I thought you wanted it short. Sophia glanced in the mirror, her heart sinking as she saw the starkly short hair at the back of her head. Well, it's too late now, she said, trying to keep her voice steady. Just finish it. The hairdresser nodded sympathetically and continued her work, shaping the cut to make it look intentional and stylish. As the minutes passed, 
more of Sophia's long hair fell to the floor. The once lengthy tresses were now a short, edgy pixie cut, a dramatic change from her original look. When the hairdresser finished, Sophia stared at her reflection in disbelief. The new style was chic and modern, but it was a far cry from her long, cherished hair. She took a deep breath, trying to accept the unexpected transformation. It's different, she said quietly. Lisa returned just as Sophia was getting up from the chair. Her eyes widened in shock. Sophia, what happened? Sophia forced a smile. Just a little misunderstanding. It's fine, really. Lisa looked guilty. I'm so sorry. I didn't think this would happen. It's okay, Sophia reassured her. It's just hair. It'll grow back. As they left the barbershop, Sophia felt a mix of emotions. She had lost her long hair, but gained a new, bold look. It was an experience she would never forget, and one that taught her to be more assertive about her choices. However, her joy was short-lived. She knew her parents loved her long hair and always expected her to discuss any drastic changes with them first. She wasn't sure how she would explain this to them. When Sophia arrived home, she took a deep breath and walked into the living room where her parents were sitting. They immediately noticed her new haircut. Her mother gasped. What happened to your hair? Sophia looked down, feeling a lump in her throat. There was a misunderstanding at the barbershop. I only wanted a trim, but they cut it short. Her father frowned. Sophia, you know how much we love your long hair. Why didn't you tell us before making such a big change? Sophia sighed. I didn't plan for this to happen. I was just waiting for Lisa, and then the hairdresser said I needed to leave if I wasn't getting a cut. I thought a trim would be fine, but it got mixed up. Her parents were stern. What did you say? Go back to the hairdresser now and shave your head bald to learn your lesson properly. She pleaded with them. Please, no. I don't want to shave my head. It was a mistake. I didn't mean for this to happen. No excuses, her father insisted. You need to understand the consequences of your actions. Sophia, with tears in her eyes, looked at her mother for support. Mom, please, I already feel bad enough. Do I really have to? Her mother sighed, but remained firm. Sophia, this is for your own good. Next time, you'll think twice before making such decisions. Defeated, Sophia nodded slowly. Okay, I'll go back, she whispered her heart heavy with dread. I'll go tomorrow, she pleaded, hoping for a reprieve. Tomorrow is not an option, her father replied firmly. You have two hours to come back home bald, or there will be other consequences. But please, she begged, her voice trembling. Can't we find another way? This is too much. Two hours, her mother repeated, her tone leaving no room for argument. We mean it. Go now. With a sinking heart, Sophia realized there was no way out. All right, I'll go, she said quietly, turning towards the door. Sophia stepped out of the house, her heart pounding as she walked back to the barbershop. The warm sun and cheerful atmosphere of the day felt at odds with her inner turmoil. She couldn't shake the fear and humiliation she felt about having to shave her head. When she arrived at the barbershop, the hairdresser noticed her tear-streaked face. Back so soon? she asked, a hint of concern in her voice. Sophia nodded, her voice barely above a whisper. I need to shave my head. The hairdresser's eyes widened in surprise. Shave it all off? Are you sure? No, Sophia said, tears welling up again. But I have to. The hairdresser sighed and led her to the chair. All right, sweetie. Let's get this over with. As the clippers buzzed to life and touched her scalp, Sophia closed her eyes, fighting back tears. She felt each strand of her hair fall away, a tangible reminder of her parents' harsh lesson. When it was over, Sophia stared at her reflection in the mirror, barely recognizing the girl who looked back at her. Her scalp was smooth and bare, a stark contrast to the long hair she had cherished. The hairdresser gave her a sympathetic smile. You're a brave girl. It'll grow back, you know. Sophia nodded, still in shock. 
Thank you, she whispered, paying and leaving the shop. The walk home felt surreal. She avoided looking at her reflection in the shop windows, not wanting to see the evidence of her punishment. When she arrived home, her parents were waiting in the living room. Her father looked at her bald head and nodded in approval. Good. I hope you've learned your lesson, 